Hello literature lovers. Today I want to talk about phonetics. It's related to sound of language. You can see the definition is here. Quite nicely written. It's study of speech sound is called phonetics. Nowadays it's also available at school level. It's very important for pronunciation purpose especially for those students who belong to the non-english mother language group and who are studying english as second language so it plays a very important role dividing phonetics in different groups uh, helps us in understanding the topic we have to understand and try to know the rules behind it so that we can understand how letters are pronounced in which manner and ipa which was first established in 1888 gave a overall perspective of what consonants and vowels should be used as you can see and how we can understand these things you know better perspective signs related to the pronunciation are also very important and the definition and how we are dividing things that plays an important role as you can see we if you know the correct place the correct technique of pronouncing each letter and the way of pronouncing the word it creates a clear cut clarity definitions are also important As you can see they help us in better understanding of the phonetic portion and these names are the definitions titles are based on the their usage only so it is not that difficult to understand and they provide a proper structure and understanding as you can see all the titles are clearly written and you can see them you can pause the video in between and see them clearly how these things are expressed so the all the things are important how we have to move our lips different portion of our mouth where to stop where to flick it so all these sounds they may differ from country to country but we all cannot go as prescribed but still these bifurcations are important these categories help in better understanding things pictures are very good we can understand how we can pronounce correctly if we use these techniques it's not so difficult to pronounce the word correct so it it's the overall perspective and it also helps in making better understanding and whenever we try to communicate in different countries these provide us a basic structure accent is a different thing but overall understanding of the language and the usage is part of it and if you are using it in another context then also we can use it for that purpose it's really very useful and these definitions are there which provide clarity as required 
that's all we have today if any query you can pause the video and see it clearly i hope this will help thanks